Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to check out another of these brand new Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary 93 Classic figures, and in fact, this is actually the final figure, the final set of figures in this line so far that have been revealed that we know of as far as the 93 Classic line goes. Unfortunately, this is the last one. But I am definitely keeping my fingers crossed that we get more because this has been one of the most incredible lines that Mattel has produced. And honestly, it made me feel like a kid again, checking out all of these awesome Jurassic Park products from Mattel. They just completely knocked this out of the park. And I can't even begin to imagine what other cool stuff they could come up with if they continue this line. So I'm definitely going to keep my fingers crossed for sure that we get a lot more of this stuff. But as you can see, this time we have the track and explore vehicle set. And what's cool about this is two things actually well actually the whole thing but two things specifically one we have the return of the scutosaurus and the scutosaurus was pretty hard to get a hold of for many people when it had released ways back and uh, on top of that we have a new paint variant of it so that's pretty cool to have two different versions of the scutosaurus from mattel but potentially even cooler than that is the vehicle because we have a vehicle that all Though uh doesn't look exactly like it, we have the same kind of coloration as the unreleased Jurassic Park Jungle Explorer, and that is absolutely amazing. So Mattel really doing their homework when coming up with some stuff that they knew we would love, and definitely, again, taking the ball, running with it, and definitely getting a touchdown when it comes to this set. But as you can see, we've got a really nice open look to this one. We've got all of the stuff that's included here before us, and we have a massive Jurassic Park logo right there. I am honestly a huge fan of the packaging of this stuff. Just like if I wasn't intending on reviewing this stuff, I probably would never even open it because the packaging is so beautiful. But if we turn it around to the back of the box, you can now see again, we have a shot of the set right there, loose from the packaging, basically like giving you an idea of what everything uh, is on this and what it is capable of. And we also have some images down here again of the other figures in the 93 Classic line, all of which we've reviewed here on the channel. So if you are interested in this, make sure you check out the other reviews that I do have up on the channel right now. So let's go ahead, pop this out of the box and check it out. So here is the set now loose from the packaging and looking just as incredible. And again, like I said, this is just the most incredible line Mattel has produced. And looking at the vehicle, you know, outside of the packaging actually released from its cardboard kind of prison, even though it wasn't really inside of it. But regardless, it was held in there. It looks super nice here out of the box. And the Scutosaurus, of course, is fantastic. We have taken a look at the sculpt and everything of that one before. But we have a really nice, really vibrant new color scheme for the Scutosaurus. I really quite like the coloration of this one. I think maybe even more than the original version. So now that everything has been released from the packaging, let's jump to a closer look at all of it right now. So we'll begin with the Scutosaurus. Now, of course, the Scutosaurus is definitely the same sculpt as the previously released version. But what a super cool cool figure to decide to give us in this set. Again, I really uh, expected a Scutosaurus at some point, but to have it in a Jurassic Park set is incredibly cool, especially since we did have a Scutosaurus in the old Jurassic Park line. So it is really cool that they've gone ahead and given us another one. I would actually really like to see a Scutosaurus make an appearance in a Jurassic film. But you can see, again, as far as the sculpt goes, it's extremely gorgeous, really highly detailed, really vibrant, as it was the first time around. But the coloration is also really nice on this one as well. As you can see, we have a pretty nice orangish tone for the majority of the body. And then you have some really cool dark blues that kind of splotch and design here all over the face, just kind of splatter all over the face, which looks really nice. We do also have some of the spikes here on the face painted out, mostly the ones running along the underside. They're painted with kind of like a light grayish tone or an off white. Not all of them are painted, which is kind of uh, typical of Mattel. I think it would have been amazing to actually see them all painted, but it does still look really good as far as what we have been given paint wise and you can see we have a yellow eye the pupil is more like the dark blue that we have for that coloration around the eye rather than a black I would have liked to have seen a black but since that tone is a darker tone it doesn't take away from the figure it doesn't look bad and I am picking up on a speckling through the course of the figure as well which is pretty nice to see on top of that as you move back here into the body you have more of those dark blues showing up here running along the upper side of the animal you see them kind of splotching and designing here pretty much the same way as we see it in the face as you move back here by the time you reach the hip 
it starts to taper off and disappear though. We also have kind of a glossier appearance for what we see in the face compared to what we see on the body and that is something that you do often see when it comes to Mattel figures so uh, I th actually kind of getting used to that. Something I didn't really like too much at first but it's kind of growing on me. You can see the eye is painted and placed pretty nicely over here as well as something I didn't mention a moment ago. But as you lead down here, you also have that same similar tone to what we see on the spikes there in the face uh, that kind of leads along the legs, like the entire front legs are that coloration entirely. And then you see it kind of design up here into the body a little bit. You see it kind of like stripe and looks really neat, definitely flashy. But uh, the rear legs are given the orangish tone of the body. And you don't have any other coloration, honestly, through the course of the figure other than that. But I think that's pretty much as much as we needed. And I think it looks really good with the coloration that we've been given. Definitely a beautiful looking version of the Scutosaurus. And we also have the Fax app code for you to add this to your collection before I forget. But definitely a really big fan of this figure. And we're definitely going to take a look at this next to the older one here in a moment to see which one we like better. But we also have this kind of like little lasso that you can use for a human figure and we have had plenty of human figures from the Mattel line. We actually don't get one with this set, but I'm sure if you're a Mattel collector you've got tons that you can kind of use and swap in here. But that looks really nice, just painted basically with a grayish tone, but does look pretty good. And then as we take a look at our vehicle, look at that, that is honestly gorgeous. It almost makes me breathless it's so nice and you can see how gorgeous the entire sculpt is how beautiful that paint is and everything on it just screaming canner screaming honestly unreleased because the jungle explorer remains unreleased to this day but you can see we have that kind of uh, really cool design here moving along the side again pretty much exactly or very close to uh, what it looked like on the Jungle Explorer itself. Obviously the design of the vehicle is a bit different compared to the Jungle Explorer, but it still looks super, super cool. And of course we have the Jurassic Park logo running along the side here, which screams nostalgia so much. Absolutely love that. If you want me to love something, you plaster that Jurassic Park logo on the side and the love is already taking hold of me but the entire thing just looks extremely nice again really high quality as Mattel vehicles usually are and you also have kind of like a little launcher up here which does have some articulation you can see you can move it around and you can also sort of swivel this so you've got quite a bit of mobility with the launcher that you have up here and it actually articulates here and here so you've got two different areas where you can kind of swivel and redirect where you are shooting your missile which is pretty cool. And you can see the missile is painted with a red and the weapon itself is kind of like a really dark gray. As you move down though, you can see that we've got the tail lights and everything that are kind of applied with stickers. We've also got ourselves a little license plate back here. You can get a look at what the opposing side of it looks like. The wheels work really nicely as well super smooth as far as that goes and as you move along to the front you can see we have the headlights and everything again applied with stickers you've got some really nice detailing and everything up here in the front of the vehicle and then of course those stickers there on the hood look super super cool you can also pull this up so you can remove that kind of get that sort of cage-like area out of the way of the windshield so that you can see through or again of course put that back down and then we can open the doors and you can get a look at the inside of the vehicle. You've got the steering wheel and everything in there. The seats look quite nice. And what's cool is we can also open the rear doors. So you have the ability to look on the inside at the rear seats as well. Let's see if the doors open on both sides. I would think that they would. Yep, absolutely. And yet again, absolutely. So the vehicle is honestly awesome. Like probably the coolest part of this set and such a super cool way to kind of polish off this hopefully first round of 93 classic reviews and as far as the articulation of our scutosaurus goes you have the ability to articulate the head and neck region right here you can move up and down and swivel same deal for the neck honestly you can kind of get that same swivel like movement as well as an up and down motion for the neck of the scutosaurus so you have quite a bit of articulation there you also have the articulation in the legs forward and back same deal for the rear legs and the ability to articulate the tail which is pretty cool. And we actually don't have a swivel in the tail, or at least it doesn't seem like it, which is kind of nice because it's kind of useless as far as that articulation goes. And then as far as the vehicle goes, you can see that's nice and smooth as well as far as the operation. And then we also have the weapon, which we will shoot over here. So hopefully it doesn't go too far. Didn't go too far. 
that's definitely good news but that as well works really nicely as far as a size goes for our scutasaurus if you are unfamiliar with the figure if you happen to have missed it the first time around lengthwise about six and a quarter inches or around 16 centimeters and then for a height to the top of the back just shy of three inches or around seven and a half centimeters and then for the vehicle lengthwise you're looking at about the 10 and a quarter inch range roughly maybe a little over or about the 26 and a half centimeter range and then for a height top of the weapon there is just shy of six inches or right around 15 centimeters somewhere in that area for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line next to our track and explore set and you can see the scutasaurus again if you did see it last time around same size same figure pretty much just a different coloration but you can see it's kind of in the attack pack wild pack danger pack size range and the vehicle is pretty much exactly the size you would expect it so no real big surprises or anything as far as the size goes with this set then for another comparison we have both different versions of the scutasaurus and one thing that i totally forgot about when it comes to the original release is the fact that the original release had kind of an action feature where you move the head this one has just straight up articulation so no action feature i really like that as well of course differentiating it from the original release but also i just more so prefer just straight up articulation over an action feature but you can see again both are really cool color variants of the scutasaurus but i actually think i might be partial to the newer one it's just a little bit more flashy maybe a little more natural with this one but just more appealing to look at as far as the newer one and then for one final comparison kind of or just i guess family photo we have the entire 93 classic line here for one visual of everything together that is available currently in the 93 classic line again stuff you can find at your local target and yes even the red rex has begun showing up at targets to my knowledge and if we kind of just remove this here and just get a nice aerial kind of view of everything you can really see again how amazing everything is some of the coolest stuff mattel has ever released without question and like i said definitely going to be keeping every finger i have crossed to see mattel release more of this stuff because it has been an absolute blast acquiring this stuff and adding it to my collection so this brand new mattel jurassic park 30th anniversary 93 classic track and attack set is awesome just like every other figure every other release in the 93 classic line has been easily the coolest stuff that mattel in my opinion has released yet and yes i like this stuff even more than the hammond collection and that's definitely saying something for me because i love the hammond collection stuff i love super articulated figures but i loved you know classic jurassic park more than i think anything so the fact that mattel has released this stuff and it's all so nostalgic so perfect as far as classic kind of kenner classic jurassic park toy line releases go is just really again the type of thing that i just love i go crazy over and of course really tugs at the heartstrings that is for sure but the set that we have here again has a gorgeous scutasaurus the sculpt is really beautifully done just like it was the first time around but it is the same sculpt as the older one and uh just new paint application and the fact that we just have straight up articulation this time rather than an action feature but i am quite the fan of the new paint scheme on this i think it looks really good and in my opinion is probably the better of the two scutasaurus so that's a plus because the first one was pretty hard to find for so many people the newer one here being a lot easier to get a hold of is of course going to be a huge plus for anyone that missed it but also being the better of the two is also a massive plus for anybody that missed the original one of course the vehicle itself is awesome but it's even cooler because it has that classic jungle explorer look to it as far as the coloration and everything goes and they really did kind of do a massive justice to anybody in the jurassic collecting community that of course never had the opportunity to own that vehicle because it was canceled i believe it was only a prototype from what we know and uh, we never actually got the pleasure of owning it in fact i've never heard of anybody even acquiring a prototype of it it's possible it happened i just may not know about it but having a released version from mattel with that kind of jungle explorer coloration is super super cool and of course we have a lot going on with the vehicle on top of the incredible visual of it you also have the ability to open and close the doors of course it moves nicely you also have that kind of cage on the front of the vehicle you can kind of lift up on the windshield and a 
weapon there on the back that kind of shoots out a little missile. So as a whole, another fantastic set, another massive recommendation from me. So just like I said with the last set, a huge thank you goes out to my good buddy Andres, who was super cool, helped me to acquire this rather than waiting until my target decides to stock it, which who knows when that might be. So again, massive thank you to him for being super cool and hooking me up with yet another set that I was having a hard time finding. But you can, of course, if you are interested, pre-order this currently on Target's website. I will include a link in the description to where you can do that, and hopefully it'll ship sometime soon. Or you can, of course, just head to your local store, and they may have it in stock already because so many stores seem to. One way or another, a massive recommendation like every one of the 93 Classic sets have been. So make sure you head to your local Local store grab it there pre-order it online one way or another get this set in hand and make sure you like comment and subscribe as well and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching